Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September, Cancer, and see what's going to be happening in your life. What predictions can we make for you today, Cancer? Now, when it comes to consuming tarot readings on YouTube, Cancer, be sure to consume more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. All right, so... With all that being said, let me know how this reading resonates with you in the comments below, as well as check out the top right hand corner of the video because there'll be a link taking taking you to uh, my monthly pick a card tarot reading. All right, so let's begin here, Cancer, with the lover's energy coming in here. Hot, darling, Cancer. All right, so right off the bat, this could be a couple meanings here. Cancer, all right, don't just jump up, jump the wagon here talking about love, soulmates, twin flames, possibility, right? But we have to pull more cards uh, here, Cancer. Uh, the, the lover's energy represents complex decisions as well. It's honestly, the lover's is the most complex card in the tarot deck because of all the hidden meanings to it. It's the sense of where the next decision that you make could completely alter uh, what you are committed to for the rest of your day. All right. In a social way, I do feel like this is related to some type of connection, having the opti uh, possibility of becoming more intimate, not just in a romantic way, it could be just in a way of uh, getting to know uh, someone deeper, you know, deepening that connection, right? To having someone just be a friendship or an acquaintance, becoming a best friend. All right. The Eight of Pentacles coming out next for you here, Cancer. All right. So this is a card of, you know, upgrading. All right. Up leveling here. I feel like the next decision you make is going to be really, I like where it's taking you. Uh, cancer it's elevating you it's not taking you back you might be having the question cancer right now being like am i making the right choices if the choice that i make next is this going to serve for my future is this going to help me get to my goals in life whatever your goal is cancer right it's none of my business absolutely yes you have the page of swords card coming in as well representing that new energy absolutely yes this next decision that you make you've been watching it for a while i feel like you were trying to get as much information as possible before you were to go forward here but i feel like it's time for you to take action uh here cancer well yes we can acknowledge the complexity of this and we can over analyze this and overthink this like i see you doing already here uh cancer with this five of swords here right i see you overthinking things but it's like you've gotten all the intel that you can get in this situation and it's time for you to start taking action here it's time for communication it's time for you to have more confidence in the choices that you make because i feel for you cancer especially recently well you may not have been able to show the progression that you've been working on in yourself for the past few months right personal development shadow work cancer i feel as if while you may not have like a trophy or something i feel like you guys have really done something that's worth celebrating or it's like a major accomplishment but not really anyone unless any, they know you personally cancer i don't feel like people would really understand how hard you've been working here all right you have the ten of swords coming in as well right tens representing closures to cycles and then and in in this artwork i don't know why i just struggled there cancer in this artwork the ten of swords represents the closure of the cycle the closing of pain right that's why you start to see the sun finally coming out for a person that was just really in a dark place in their life right reaching a, a rock bottom for some of you cancers right and so I feel as if for you, Cancer, you might be have been so used to uh, people turning against you. You might be so used to being hurt. Every time that you've committed to something, it always falls out, fall, like the plans fall through or what have you. But there's something in the air about this that's different here. I see, I see you, your journey here, Cancer, in a place where you're starting to wipe off the suit. You're starting to uh, remove like this... <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> I'm just now noticing when I started shuffling here, uh, Cancer, there's the Three of Swords. Hmm. Yes, definitely some pain here. But I do feel as if in the coming days for you, it's different. And I think it's important for you to acknowledge this, Cancer, rather than being still in the survival mode because it's all you've known for a long time. I feel like it's time for you to start switching gears. Let's see what's coming for you in the coming days. Wow. Cancer. Okay, wow. So we acknowledge this period that you've been going through over analyzing, right? I'm pushing you to take action. And this is what happens when you take action, darling. This is insane. 
magician, sun, and ten of pentacles here. I, this is the epitome of abundance, but abundance from your own hard work, from your own creation here, Cancer. The Sun card is the most positive card in the tarot deck, representing abundance, clarity happening. You'll take note even in the artwork of the Sun energy, very much so reminiscent of the Ten of Swords as well. You're able to shed away these dark specks and to then come into complete happiness here, right? same dress as well so he lets you know that this is not like this is the progression of your story quite literally this is the same character right so this is your story so it's i feel like it's really hard i'm struggling to like wanting to continue on cancer because i feel like for some of you you don't want to really internalize this message and there's like this resistance here where it's like velka i want i want to believe but at the same time my life up until this point shows that i shouldn't believe right and what i want to challenge you with your cancer is that if you were to go with that narrative that then dismisses your own power as a magician that dismisses your acknowledge like you no longer acknowledge that you are the magician where you create the reality that you want to see in this world to go along with the narrative of being like oh Valka nothing's gonna work out in my life anymore because you know up until this point I've been struggling with my bills I haven't been able to have any type of savings what's the savings account right and you know and I feel like if you were to have that narrative then you're just so dismissive of what could happen for the future that makes it that makes that comes off as if you are choosing to stay in your position rather than be hopeful sure it's easier to be uh uh to be negative right but it's it's it takes more effort to be hopeful for the decisions that you make that i feel like you already know there's something that i see for you cancer it's like you need to start taking action on something that would start out slow but it becomes something very really really, really beautiful so it's like for example maybe you start posting on social media maybe you only get a couple of views but it progresses to something beautiful page of pentacles right pages represents that new energy as i said new streams of income new new things coming into your life that's going to further stabilize things that's going to allow you to sink your root, roots into your life deeper eight of wands right afterwards this is a card of quick success cancer right it's like you start out with something small and then it progresses really quickly for you right but it is also the eight of wands is a card of experimentation trying out different things to get to that ten of pentacles to get to that uh plate place of where you are completely abundant but it is requiring you to be that magician energy where it's like that's why i feel like it's like some type of idea that you wanting to do that it's something in related to being able to help stabilize things for you maybe it's the sense of like oh something financially i do feel like it's financially especially with this eight of pentacles there it's like you wanting to go to school to research a craft to for to be hopeful for the future here it's like you want to go to school you want to get a certif certificate to do something because you are hopeful that will help set your life up for the uh, the life that you envision for yourself in the long term right you know going to like veterinarians becoming a vet we'll just keep it there keep becoming a vet <laughs> cancer right and then that helps feed your goal to be able to do what you always wanted to do where you have a plot of land and you're able to just take care of it be around and take care of animals right that's what i see it is for you where it's like you need to start taking action on those things where like it sets you up for that dream future for yourself does that make sense cancer <clears throat> and then the temperance card afterwards is that card of patience be willing to allow things to develop in your life cancer because you'll be very pleasantly surprised by just the, in the blink of an eye what can drastically change in your life but you can't be too focused in on thinking that you know how your future is going to lay out just because of what your life has been up until this point. Call of the muse. Call the muse. I feel like this is you though, Cancer. I feel like you become the muse in something. You, you are being called to do something. This is like, there's, this is why you don't want to ignore this, Cancer. It's like you're being called to, I said, post, you know, posting on social media, for example, or just going to getting your certificate to be a vet or whatever you know more than a certificate to be a vet but it's like you're being called to action of doing something great in your life your cancer 
all right you're being called to do something for your own personal project right and i see with this tower energy afterwards uh with this here cancer it's like I see in the coming days, major transformations. You have to let go. It's like you're leaving, you're putting a match to everything that you had in the past and coming out anew. Very much so like Phoenix journey, I feel for you, where it's like you're burning away an old version of yourself that you no longer identify with. But the only way you can let go of that old version of yourself that you no longer identify with is starting to step into a new version of yourself. You're so you're shy in front of the camera. That's fine. Instead of continuing continuing feeding into that reality of where you're shy in the camp in front of the camera cancer, you start posting yourself up on camera daily, right? Developing that new skin. Because if you continue on with the same narrative where it's just like, oh, I'm shy on camera, so I don't want to be on camera or what have you, that's still clinging on to that old identity of yourself. Does that make sense? Caterpillar, opportunity coming in. Caterpillar. Now, darling, this makes me think about the chest the Cheshire, Cheshire girl, I cannot speak for you, Cancer. The Cheshire cat, darling, right? Opportunity coming in for you. And so when I think about this here, you know, when you think about the Cheshire cat and being in Wonderland, I'm not the biggest fan of the movie, so I don't know every detail about it, but I do know um, it's that sense of where anything is possible right like where they're in like that setting where with that cheshire cat where it's like nothing really makes sense you have like a caterpillar that's like smoking off and the distance speaking you know there is this sense for you cancer where i feel like you need to be reminded about how magical life actually is i feel like you started to lose hope for the magic where you started to stop believing in the magic of life so that you're no longer maybe your faith is struggling your spiritual belief system is struggling here but i feel like that reminder is going to be coming in the days in the coming days for you but you can't be too walled off all right you can't be too walled off where it's impossible to reach you to give you that hope to remind you of the magic of the world and like what could be what is possible you have the star energy here in the back of the deck all right, the star energy is bringing forth some personal desire of yours, bringing it to reality, something to remind you what to be hopeful for, right? Having those wishes still, not giving up on those wishes because it is, re it can be reality for you. But stop being so focused in on your current situation. Your current situation, whatever it is that you don't like right now, Cancer, that's just where you're at currently. That's a, uh, that's a marker for where you're at. It doesn't make that your identity. That's where you're starting out at. And by tomorrow, you're no longer at that marker if you choose to continue working at it, right? So it's like you take each day and identify it's like, oh, I don't like this part, part about myself. Let me work on that rather than treating it as your identity. Treat it as like a word problem and that when you work through it, you're letting go of that. All right, Cancer. I don't know if that, I feel like it'll reach people that it needs to reach, but it's very, it's, I'm getting types of messages I usually never express to general readings. I don't know. Yeah, this is what y'all, this is, this video is going to find its way to the right people here. Cardinal card, spiritual significance to this. I even saw a card, uh, girl, <laughs> so much just fell down behind me. And as I was saying beforehand, uh, <laughs> can't say that threw me off this morning before i started recording i saw, saw a cardinal as well so definitely strong spiritual forces here making even my room like insane my office insane so the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever it is you need to do to bring them back into equilibrium cancer i'm a cancer rising by the way if you're wondering that's why I'm relating to this here. So cancer for you, you have, you're going to be this literally, didn't I even say is like, you're maybe you're losing faith in your spirituality and you're needing hope to have like faith You're needing something to happen to continue the faith. And it's coming. All right. Pay attention to the signs. Don't be too closed off. Be open because the message, the miracle is coming here, essentially cancer. All right. So let's get your mantra here for today. So I can leave, lead you, leave you to the rest of your day, Cancer. Be sure if you do enjoy this tarot reading, give this video a like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and it's completely free to do. I always appreciate those who take that extra time. My fearless freedom lights up the world, Cancer. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful, right? This is you just giving yourself the freedom and taking action, giving yourself the freedom and just living your life, Cancer, giving yourself the freedom in just being yourself without a filter, all right? Take note as well, even with this uh, Cancer, going back to your imagery with the Ten of Swords, y'all might need to watch this reading back a couple of times to really take in all the all the alignments, right? You're looking for a spiritual sign. There are so many spiritual signs even in with this, right? The sun coming back out as I was referencing this entire reading, right, Cancer? So one last time before I let you go, my fearless freedom lights up the world. I love you so much, Cancer, and hopefully I can connect with you to you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.